Hello, Pop Smokers. This is Ron Ringo calling in from New York City. And I apologize for not uh, um, being around for a little bit. I've uh, been kind of busy at work, and the uh, weather's changing quite a bit here in New York. It's been uh, kind of cool, kind of wet. Um, and uh, the light's changing dramatically, so after 5 o'clock, I'm going to have to find another spot because uh, it's, it's getting dark pretty soon. And uh, today, I'm uh, doing a review. Housekeeping. I'm smoking out of a uh, Mario Grandi egg warmer, a nose warmer, egg shaped. It's uh, these Italian pipes. They're they're pretty fantastic. They smoke good. Um, they're depending on what you put in it. Uh, it seems that if you put in English blends, they don't uh, they don't get hot. Now, if you if you pack it in with uh, aromatics, it gets hot. But uh, it, it it smokes really good in uh, in just about anything you put in it. You gotta air it out a little bit, and uh, because of the ghosts. Uh, from aromatics to English, but you know, after generally, what I do is I put a little bit of um, uh, I, I wash it with uh, whiskey or rum, and and and, it, and after it evaporates, it it, it seems to uh, work well with uh, when you switch blends. So today, I'm smoking Peterson's University Flink. And I'm going to do a review on it. So. Comes like this. Nice packaging. This is the first time I s I'm smoking this, so it, it, uh, I'm really enjoying it. I started uh, puffing this about 10 minutes ago. The flake is a nice kind of wide flake. It's pretty neat, um, and it smells like plums, which is uh, pretty fantastic. Now, some other reviewers said that it's there is no rum flavor in this. I beg to differ. There is. Uh, it, it's and and I think it's the burleys that are also giving you that kind of chocolatey taste too. Um, uh, it is sweet, mild in, in nicotine. Um, a little bit of a burn going down uh, the first few puffs uh, that nicotine kind of sting but uh, it, it, it's pretty good it's fine I can deal with it um, it's a uh, I don't know if it's I don't know if I would consider an aromatic uh, it's it smells good uh, I don't know too sure if it has a casing um, I think it might, but I don't think so. Uh, it says here, an easy smoking blend of fine Virginia and Burley tobaccos made in a traditional way. So I'm not too sure if it has a casing, but it definitely does have flavors of something. But uh, again, getting back to Burley's, uh, I, I really like Burley. Um, it's something that I'm probably going to do some homework on. If you guys know of any other really, really good uh Burley blends. Uh, let me know. I I like Virginia Burleys, um, but straight Burley I haven't tried yet. And uh, if you guys know of any Burley flakes, let me know. Um, I'm I'm curious to see what's out there. Uh, I know that so far my favorite is um, McBaron's H and H Old Dark Fired. Uh, that is a Virginia Burley blend, um, and it's uh, it's pretty fantastic, and it burns fantastic it's it smokes really nice wonderful flavors nice room note um, so this is pretty good I might keep this in my rotation because uh, it's an easy smoke and um, I'd like to do a big shout out to uh, the Bellegarde one Brandon uh, congratulations on the big leap from moving to the from the Midwest to um, South Carolina and uh, he also uh, he's starting to work he's gonna work he's gonna start working pretty soon for uh, smokingpipes.com 
again, kudos to you, Brandon, and your family. God bless you. Uh, hopefully, I'll uh, stay in the uh, interpools of, uh, of smokingpipes.com and, and through these videos and congratulate you again. And uh, you'll, be, you'll be seeing me purchasing stuff on smokingpipes.com. Again, well, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, have a great uh, October. And uh, cheers, guys. Take it easy.